It's no exaggeration to say that AI is critical to HIT's success. It's this kind of beautiful blend between like machine learning and incredibly difficult engineering problems. You can do really intellectually interesting research, like hard problems that are being solved. Nowhere about HRT. Every problem has as much depth as you want it to have, and things that will be impactful to the firm. The power of deep learning permeates everything we do. HAIL stands for HIT AI Labs. We have a team at HIT responsible for our cutting edge AI efforts. We're a team of like researchers and engineers who pull techniques from unsupervised learning, supervised learning, reinforcement learning to build the most predictive deep learning models in the world for finance. We don't own trading. Instead, we collaborate with the teams. We work on their models to make them bigger, more powerful, and there's a lot of room for cross-pollination. We've built models that are deployed in every asset class in the world, uh, but also across like time horizon. Almost every trade that HRT makes will go through a, a HAIL-trained model at some point. And, and there's a lot of trust between us and the teams. And that's, that's a culture that's really hard to replicate, that's, that's really unique to HRT. And it's really fun because it means that we can drive revenue even though we don't own trading. There's been this amazing process of, of discovery and learning and research for well over a decade now, to the point where it's become absolutely critical to HRT's business to be the best at deep learning in, in trading. Two of the biggest ingredients you need to build deep learning models are compute and data. And HRT has both of these in incredible orders of magnitude. We have vast quantities of data, like on the order of like petabytes, just in terms of raw tech data that we've written down since like the beginning of electronic trading. But also things like news headlines and alternative data sources. That gives us just a lot of events in which we can train our models, and we have an incredible compute cluster. We have a very high compute per researcher ratio. HIT and its leadership have always believed that investing heavily in compute is important for researcher productivity and, and core to our mission. There probably aren't too many places on Earth you can do cutting edge deep learning research at the like level that we do it, just because of how few places have access to as much compute. It's basically the hyperscalers of the world and then like we're kind of in the next tranche. Quant trading is where I think you can have really, really exciting advancements in deep learning. There's very different modalities of data that we work with, very different kinds of techniques that you have to use to adapt to the unique modality. There's a lot of room for research to try to solve really hard problems. And then additionally, you are subject to incredibly tight latency constraints. These events are coming at you over a thousand a second. If you're processing them fast enough, that if you decide you want to make a trade, you actually can get those shares before someone else. We spend a lot of time thinking about how to handle those really big days, you know, when uh, the Fed announces a rate change. How do we make sure our models are both robust to what's going on and also able to perform at their peak at, during those times? For us, it's never an option to be slow. We have to keep up. And so we've done a lot of things that are non-standard in the field of, of deep learning to sort of handle these unique design constraints. Because we have such big data sets and such big computational needs, we just apply them in, in unique ways that are specific to the domain. And so there's a natural kind of trade-off between how smart can you be versus how uh, fast can you be. But there's ways to shift the whole curve. There's ways to break that trade-off and be smarter and faster at the same time. Building these models is a full stack effort. It requires both really good deep learning researchers, but also amazing engineers as well. We are solving problems that may not have been solved before because no one has ever thought about them in the same way. That's very exciting, but also very challenging. And so we want people who are excited to go out and, and tackle the unknown and come up with solutions on their own. We need like the best researchers in the world to come here, do more experiments, research kind of our existing models and how to improve them, and really push them even further than we think they can be taken now. There's a sort of clear sense of, of mission and focus. And it's a small and focused team. And that really kind of cuts through the nonsense. And you come to work every day, think really hard, and do really exciting work uh, with all the resources you need to succeed. I am incredibly impressed with my colleagues. I think this is the highest average talent bar that I've ever been a part of, including kind of like my time and my PhD. We're doing cutting edge deep learning research under constraints that just aren't present elsewhere. It leads to really interesting, unique insights that you're just not gonna find published anywhere. You're not gonna find uh, other people doing the sorts of work that we're doing. You know, if you want to see the, the, the sorts of systems we're building, there's really only one way to, to do so, it's to, to join.